Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. That was a really odd way to start the stream. We had some strange internet connectivity issues right before I went live. It seems to have resolved itself, but I had to restart OBS because my chat room wasn't keeping up and I was getting some weird errors, but it looks like we're okay. I don't know what happened. Part of the pitfalls of relying on being connected for your job is that sometimes the connection just falls short. Uh, we are on the Citadel server, which is, of course, my seven-year-old Minecraft server. We've been working for the last several weeks, actually, on the iron farm. And we left off having hooked up uh, the ability to make uh, red dye, pink dye, and white dye, and have them all filtered up top here. And I took the liberty in between streams of clearing out some extra space and uh, fixing the error that I made in the last stream which was this was a block lower going into that hopper uh and it needed to be a pie so that this now works as you would expect this is just a regular item filter for the different items that we're trying to filter out uh we also um have again given ourselves some extra space we have an overflow for a cactus here i'm not entirely sure i like the way that this looks but these are in the way so i need to move this i need to expand this little tool room it's i'm still bouncing off of everything unfortunately we are very close to the outside uh this is the outside so we don't have a lot of room in here and i also don't have a lot of room going this way because that's the um bone meal room next door so i i'm feeling rather tight here and i may i may end up moving this left or right somehow i'm not sure how i'm going to do that but for now the first thing we need to do is expand this wall a little bit give myself a little bit of extra room because we don't have that room over here um because we don't necessarily need it um so i'd like to try and smooth out a few things here this is is okay it doesn't look the best but it functions the way that i want i might add some of the black stone and just kind of make this area look a little bit tidier the idea is that if you, i return to this a couple of years from now i want to be able to know what's going on that's the plan mind trip media jumping into the stream with 100 bits in the lurk thanks very much uh, sweet sandy good to see you of course uh z mib welcome in blast jordan good to see you again blast jordan was just hanging out in my live chat in the discord this morning myself and pixel Rift sat down and recorded a two-hour citadel cafe episode about rings of power uh, we talked a little bit about video games and some other cool stuff too, but most of it was focused on Rings of Power, and I'm very excited to get that edited and out to you guys as soon as possible. So uh, that was a lot of fun. So what do we want to do here? First things I think is to expand this space a little bit so I can walk through here and not feel so cramped. And there's a creeper somewhere outside walking on the grass and it's driving me nuts. <laughs> it sounds like it's right behind you. Now I'm not sure what my height restrictions are here. I am trying to keep it looking like a cave as best I can. All right, so there's my edge. I'd say we can probably just go straight across. And there's the outside. So there's our there's our edge. So maybe I will Do I want this? I guess I could just go and fill this in.
Makes a little bit more sense, I guess. Uh, your professor is wondering why you had your thinking face with my earphones in while working. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed the episode. We had a lot of fun. It was a good chat. Good chat. I'm a little, uh, my voice is a little gone from talking all morning with Johnny, so I apologize. I try not to line up podcasts and streams in the same day, if I can all at all help it. It's usually something I try to separate, but can't always be helped okay so I think we can move this I don't think I want to stay up here I think we're gonna go down a step and then we will just make steps out of that easy breezy and then I think we will put these on this wall right here so I don't have to move things very far That looks pretty cave-like. Now, this should have some of this stuff behind it, and that's fine. And I think here it might be fun to actually use some deep slate. which I don't have. So we've been placing a lot of our redstone on a uh, deep slate tile. So I thought I would just kind of continue that theme. Have it look like the underlying structure of the room maybe. That could be fun. What did we do around the portal? Yeah, basalt, or not basalt, but polished on the bottom. We can probably do that here. I'd like to try to remove some torches as well and just kind of make things feel a little bit more um, decorated on purpose. It would be fun. Still like it's built into the cave, but kind of doing its own thing. Dre3654, hello, welcome in. Super fast, good to see you. Hope you're well. Okay, so first thing I think we can, we need to make sure I want the cactus to stay there. If that's where I want that to be, if I moved it over, then that orange thing is gonna bite into this space and I don't think I want that. So I think we'll leave that as it is 
I think maybe what we'll do is expand the floor a little bit. And then we can start to put some of these chests here. I don't think I'm going to need three because some of the stuff is just going to come back with me. This is also, um, the mechanics downstairs are also messed up. We've got to go make the adjustments that Sandy suggested at the end of the last stream because um, it's not producing pink dye. The, the red dye gets in the way. That's a problem. So we can move this stuff. And I think it would be a good idea to have maybe that there, that there. And I guess if we permanently have an ender chest here, that would be a good spot for it. Although that's mine. I thought there was another one here. Maybe not. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't think we need three. Two should be fine. Even one will probably be okay. So a lot of this stuff I want to like some of the stuff I want to leave in case we need to fix the farm at any point. I feel like green concrete, green glass, name tags, leaving some ladders around wouldn't be a bad idea. Couple stacks of stone, couple stacks of andesite. Maybe we only need the one double chest. I feel like this had a lot of blocks in it too. Yeah, so maybe magma blocks. I try to leave like a, a selection of the palette that we used. I feel like one of them was azalea leaves. Maybe some acacia and copper as well. Probably a decent amount. Mm -hmm. 
Dude, creeper sounds like it's right over there. Composters. Couple of chests. Don't really need a furnace. Yeah, we may only need the one, one chest. Because most of this I feel like I can take back with me or just kind of file away. Oh, I need to make a little trap for these piglin guys too. That all needs to go into another spot. Do I have the ability to put regular blocks in here? Pretty tight. I guess I really don't need the saplings. Or I could just turn those into something else. That works. Now some of this stuff I can put back in existing boxes, I feel like. Do I have magma cream? I do. Did I bring my entire leaf box? Also just leave those there if we need to. There's also oak leaves around the outside. Watching with toddlers. Hello, that's a fun username. Welcome in. Don't know if I have verdant frock lights anywhere else. Feel like I brought tough though. And that's full. I could make polished tough. So has anybody watched the Minecraft movie trailer? There's a teaser trailer that came out today with the new snapshot as well in the news. I watched it just the once and a little weirded out with the wig I think they chose for Jason Momoa. It's, it's an odd, odd choice. I was not expecting that. There's a lot of stone here. Do I need stone bricks? I wonder if I could just make some stone bricks out of this. Yeah, I could do that. Am I short on anything else? No, we're pretty good. I 
nice when you're staying on top of things in a dig like this where you can replenish a few things that you didn't realize you were low on in the first place. We're already full up on green concrete there, so that has to go in here. Imagine we are already full up on glass. I know I've got space in the shulker. That's a really odd way that that displays. Yeah, the teaser looks interesting. I think the interactions between Jack Black and Jason Momoa will either make it or sink it. Yeah, Jack Black just seems to be unapologetically Jack Black, which the Minecraft movie might be good. Um, yeah, it is very CGI. It feels, I mean, it's obviously going to be a kid's movie, but it feels very kiddy. Um, I imagine Jason Momoa is just there for the star power. Uh, same with Jack Black. I'm sure the kids are going to be the focus of the film. Um, the fact that Jack Black is Steve is pretty funny. I'm not sure what to think either, Sweet Sandy. I, I mean, I'm going to watch it, obviously, for the Spawn Chunks podcast and to, to have all that, um, sort of in our discussions, but like, I'm not excited to go see it. These don't stack. So I might as well leave them here, I guess. Don't know why I'm keeping all the diorite, but I am. One of those things that you never know when you might need it. Almost there. Did I bring dirt? I think I did. Really sick and listening to these pigmen. Don't know where I got the sea pickles from. Oh, you know what? I bet you they were lighting something next door. That's annoying. Little badge of honor. OK, 
Okay, guys, you're starting to really tick me off here. So this can just be my temporary chest for things. That goes there, and that's concrete. Cool. Feeling a little bit better about that. I also need to go in and uh, reestablish my... Um, Display for lighting levels. That's under the mini HUD. And generic. It's one of these, I think. Light level. Nope. So it wasn't light level. Renderers, that's what it is. There we go. Cool, that's what I want. That's what I want. Because it doesn't quite get down to zero. So I don't need to spam torches everywhere. I'm probably going to want something back here. Just visually. I just don't want to light up because the light goes through the blocks. I don't want to light up the outside, you know, that's, that's my thinking. That feels pretty good. So I've left a ladder here in case we need to get up here for any reason. I'm not sure about that overhang. While I'm up here, though, it's very dark. But I feel like if we do that, we're going to need to add a little trapdoor. So that the items don't fly everywhere. I think that looks a little bit better. 
Not crazy about the ladder going right down next to that, so I might try to find another spot for the down because I want it to be a little bit more obvious in case anybody else comes here and needs or wants to, uh, I guess, aid or work on this place. Where's a good spot for the bed that makes sense? I guess there doesn't need to be a bed here. That was just for me. So anywhere in that direction is going to be no. So really, it's harder to find a spot for this. We could go back there. Where would be a good spot? In the back corner would make sense. That's... One, two, three, four, and then over one. So one, two, three, four, and then here. I guess that's where I had it originally. I guess that makes sense. This just feels cramped. So we'd want this to be coming down in this way. Uh, I think that works. We might even be able to put like deep slate there instead. Just to make it a little bit more obvious. Plus if we put a deep slate bit up here, kind of go with our theme. Wish we could color ladders. I feel like it would be a lot nicer. We could color ladders. And this is why I wanted to leave some of this stuff around. Just in case I notice something that I want to tweak, touch up. Okay, so that feels like this is too narrow. And I'm not crazy about this. Uh, this is the drop from up above. So I may have to think about how I want to change that. That could eventually move as well. This is just a really strange spot for that to be.
certainly feels tidier. That's for sure. Now, are there any spaces up here that can spawn? No. That's good. The mighty Elkhorn is here. Hello, Elkhorn. How's it going? And thank you to Nightbot for the reminder. I don't think I've mentioned today that uh, stream subs are 25% off for a one-month sub or for a three-month sub. So if you'd like to join the Discord, if you'd like to support the work that I do, then you can take advantage of the sale and save a bit of money. Six-month subs are also, I think, 30% off. Just Twitch is a little convoluted with all the information, so I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. And this is just me trying to make the top of this look like a cave for no other reason than I want to. And I think we did okay. We might have to go with a strip across here. I don't think that's going to affect too much from the other side. I'll have to go look. That might ruin the cave look that I've got going on inside. No, I think that's fine. Don't think any of these are outside. Thought there was a dirt block somewhere that I saw. I think that's a decent solution. Not crazy about the torches, but like sometimes you just have to use them. And maybe just use the same logic in here. gun, hello, hello. Sorry to hear you're under the weather, my friend. That's uh, That's got to be frustrating. I 
That should help indicate that there's a down there. Now, can I do this quick enough? Yes. Shoot. Nope, wrong way. I just need to squeeze in there. And that should be most of this taken care of. This is a lot easier to do. Maybe that's the dirt that I saw. I kind of like these little hidden areas and I kind of wonder whether should do one on both sides. So then you can go left or right. You really can't tell. I'll have to remember that trick because I think it's fun. Like secret doors. We're good there. That all looks good. I don't think we still need the honey blocks, but I might as well just leave them there. Okay, so some of this stuff needs to go back in boxes. Trying to stay organized and not create yet another mess for me to contend with. We're in pretty good shape. I've not been hearing a lot of golems getting burnt, but we're full. And I guess what's going to happen there is that the uh, hoppers are going to start to fill up. Yeah, so we're going to have a while before that second hopper or that second chest gets there. Uh,. McScrewgun says, fortunately, my kid is in college, so I have a room to sequester in. Ah, yes. When you have to isolate, it's nice to have a spare room in the house. That's right. The Infinity Cove anniversary next weekend thing. That's, that's good you're not missing that. 
For folks wondering, Infinity Cove is my patron server. So if you're supporting at a certain level on Patreon, then you can get access to that. Okay, I think now we've got to go downstairs and take a look at the blocks I might need. Well, first we've got to fix we've got to fix the um, the redstone downstairs. That should be all I need. So what's happening down here, you'll see in this pink crafter, we've got two red dye. So I've got to move this uh, over and I have to change some of the repeaters and timings. And one of the things that I want to do is um, I think I may stop this from going back and forth. I think I might create a right hand turn here for it to loop back. I think if I can. Although I don't know how to, I don't know how to loop it and have it go a certain direction. I'll have to be careful there. That might be harder than I think. Because essentially we have the same problem. The red dye here fills up very quickly. So this gets like full. And then makes a red dye and fills in this extra spot. So the first thing we need to do is change the way everything is down there. We might need both of those. And I need a bucket. So Sweet Sandy sent me an image. And what we have to do is we have to change this. And this is going to be the crafter. So this is going to be the two the crafter making pink dye. And then this guy faces this way. Nope. This is making red dye. And then we have to change this. that. Oh, I didn't bring any basalt. I feel like I've got a pretty decent flow of how things are down here now. Oh, McShrew on Redstone on stream was the last, I don't know, week or two. Maybe not Redstone for the farm parts, but certainly for these parts. So the Redstone here is very similar, but I just have to change think this check the image that sweet sandy put on my discord so it's a comparator into a repeater so that part this doesn't need to be yes that needs to be an observer 
Then this goes like that. And then there's no delay, just the fact that there are two repeaters here should be enough. So what's happening here is that we have, and I guess this could be simplified too. This composter could be, well, oh no, can't be because of the way that I have this set up. Um, this, it would push it too far down. So we've got um, two hoppers that get fed into the composter. Bone meal comes out and bone meal goes into here. Does that have to be open like that? No. So whenever that gets bone meal, it'll craft white dye. And this just gets a poppy. Uh, that should be single. And that will then, once it gets a poppy, when this crafts white dye, this will craft red dye. They will both go in there and it should be fine. Sandy says it will leave a white dye and a red dye in the pink crafter, but that's a fail safe um, to not get more than one in each color. Uh, will it do it automatically or do I have to do that manually? So for anybody that's just tuning in for the first time, if you've missed the other streams, this will leave the docking station when it gets 23 poppies. Uh, so I could trigger it right now. Now it does go back and forth and it does come back, I think empty or close to it. Yeah, completely empty. So what's happened there is that poppies are just basically dispensed this dispenses red dye, usually two or three at a time. This just makes white dye, and that's those three things taken care of, right? See them here, white dye, red dye, and poppies. And then this, so this is ready. So this has got three poppies in it now. So the thing is, we just need to make sure that when this crafter pushes out here, this crafter also pushes out to there. And then this crafter is also going to trigger, but I don't think it triggers the first time. I think it will attempt to trigger the first time and won't make it, but then it will trigger the second time. And that's what Sandy means by there will always be one pink or one white and one red dye in there. I think that's how it works. Have you got any plans for that dye? No, this was just more of a, a personal challenge. Um, and that all goes around the corner and it goes upstairs. This was just more of a personal challenge where I wanted to see if I could do it to learn a little bit more, more about the crafter. That's all that is. So I'm tempted to remove all the dye and just start fresh but we'll see i guess i could use the poppies to test it again Didn't see any pink dye. Also, I don't think this needs to be on a delay. Now there's one of each in there. So I feel like that was the dummy craft where like this crafted correctly, put it in there. This crafted correctly, put it in there. And now the next time, this will, I think, 
spit out one, but still not have zero. Uh, I think you need to check the red die crafter. She'll only have one slot open. Yeah, it does. Yeah, and then we'll get a new red and white die. Yeah, well, I, I've got enough poppies here. I can test it one more time. I think. Well, not quite. We can front load a little bit. So as far as down here, uh, I think I'd rather have a little bit more room here. Not amazing. That feels less treacherous. We'll put stairs there. And this is just me being kind of silly and wanting to have everything look nice. Not crazy about all the torches either, but I think I need to think a little bit harder about how I want this to go down here. I feel like we've done an okay job. I don't think I need to do too much more. I feel like I could probably have a walkway here. That would make a little bit more sense. I'm always careful with hoppers down below. I don't want to mess anything up. Uh, do I want the walkway to be... Probably I want it to be up here. weird when you hear water noises you're just like uh oh is that what I wanted to hear <laughs> okay 
It's a little bit more accessible. We could put stairs there. That's the tunnel going upstairs. Redstone works. Does break time work too? Yes, you're right. Uh, I should absolutely do that. We will take that break. Thanks for the reminder. Uh, I didn't see if there's extra poppies, but we'll just take a look and see. 10 pink dye. If we come back and there's more, we know it's working. Uh, folks, I take a break about once an hour. Uh, it gives me a chance to step away from the computer, grab a stretch. You should too. Grab a drink, grab a friend, let them know that we're streaming. We're always trying, trying to grow the channel. And of course, uh, subs are 25% off this month. So uh, thanks again for the support so far. And if you are thinking of it, you can join the Discord. You can also uh, check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan as well. I'll be right back.
You know, the more that I think about it, I think we're done. I, there's really not more that I could do down here. And uh, I just, there's a few things around here that have come up that I'm going to have to attend to. So I think that's where we're going to wrap things up for today. I know I just came back from a break, but I see that Pearlescent Moon is live. I think I can send you all on to Pearl and have a good time there. And uh, I will monitor this in the background, but I'm pretty sure that this is doing exactly what we want. And uh, I don't think I need to spend another hour puttering around here doing uh, stuff that just doesn't really matter in the grand, grand scheme of things. Oh, Pearl just finished says uh says dan all right we will see who else is live before i send you on do 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 let's just double check here is there anybody else if you got somebody that you follow that's playing minecraft in the uh twitch sphere feel free to suggest it in chat uh mythical sausage is live i think Sausage is alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in the Little Wood, uh, Dark Callus. I've not raided them before. Uh, are they family friendly? They sound like they might be. Playing Vault Hunters. Yeah, let's do a little... Let's do a, a new raid. In the Little Wood. Folks, once again, there is a new episode of the Spawn Chunks out there. Uh, it is available for you on all of your favorite podcasting platforms including youtube you can check out the citadel cafe where johnny and i talked about rings of power uh, i have to go edit that this afternoon so that's also coming up and of course i'll be back tomorrow thursday with more minecraft at one o'clock atlantic that's utc minus three hours we're pretty much done here in the iron farm so we might be back in Westall doing more stuff up there so i will catch you all on the flip side thanks so much for hanging out today sandy thanks for the moderation I appreciate everybody coming in. Mind Trip Media, thanks again for the bits. I will catch y'all tomorrow. Enjoy your afternoon with the little wood. <laughs>